Hey guys, what's up? It's Tara. So today is finally the day where I'm going to be dyeing my hair pink. And I even put on like pink nails just for this occasion. I'm so excited to be pinked out 24 seven. Um, I wanted pink hair for the longest time. Ever since I dyed my hair blonde, I always like mentally noted I was gonna have pink hair. So my main inspiration was this photo or this hair that Kim Kardashian had when she was in Tokyo, she had Chris Appleton, who's like her celebrity hairstylist, he dyed her hair pink, and I saw a video where he talked about how he used the Manic Panic pink hair dye. He mixed it with some conditioner, whatever, and it gave her this really nice pink. So this is the Manic Panic cotton candy pink. This is the same exact hair dye that Kim used for her Tokyo pink hair. I'm so fucking excited. My mom straight up is going to kill me because I'm dying it two weeks before my brother's high school graduation. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, super excited. We're gonna have pink hair. Um, I'm pretty nervous. I just have this and like this, the little painter, gloves, like whatever you need. I also purple shampooed my hair like Friday night. It's Sunday right now because I wanted to make sure a lot of the brassiness and yellow was out of my hair so it can be like the most nice pink it possibly can. And I'm so nervous and so excited. I just wanna get started. So I am gonna try and be super, super careful with the placement because the one thing is that I'm at the end of my blonde. So I'm not gonna put the pink on my brown roots. I'm gonna start with where the blonde starts. And I'm hoping it's not gonna be patchy, but I kind of want it to have dimension, like not all one color, like different colors. Here we go. Really quick, I'm so sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to give a shout out and thank you to today's sponsor on this video. So shout out to Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. They sell the ultimate skin spa facial cleansing system and they were kind enough to let me try it out. I've had it for a little while now and I'm super happy to say that I love love this. If you guys can remember back in October, I had super bad hormonal acne and I was doing everything that I could to get my skin back under control. I was doing facials like minimum once a week. It was getting so expensive. I was buying all this new skincare stuff and adding this already, adding this into my skincare routine has helped a ton. My skin just like seems and feels way more glowy than before. So basically it's an electric hand cleansing tool and it comes with three different brush heads. So this is the daily cleanser brush head. It's super soft and the brush also has two speeds. So there's like normal, fast. To remove it, you just literally pull it off and it also comes with an exfoliating brush, but you just pop it on just like that, it's so easy, and then you just do the same thing. It also comes with a silicone brush head, just looks like that. This one's more for sensitive skin. It's also good because silicone brushes resist like bacteria buildup. So basically how I've been using this is I just take my daily cleanser that I use morning and night, and I just pump it onto the brush head, and then I turn it on and I get all in there. I get in my cheekbones and my jaw where I'm like really prone to breakouts. Using a electronic brush head like this cleans your skin six times better than manually cleansing your skin. It also improves skin hydration and boosts collagen. It enhances like the absorption of skincare. It also can like prep your skin when you use this in the morning. It's a really good prep for your skin to put on makeup because it gets it really clean and glowy and baby soft so your makeup goes on so slick on top of it. I really enjoy using this in the morning. Um, also at night, I've been using it twice a day. I really like it. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this yourself, I will leave links down below in the description to where you can buy it. You can also use the code TZGLOW at checkout for 70% off, which is Kind of insane. Thank you guys for listening. We'll get back into the video. And thank you again to Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. Bye. I'm going to section my hair, twist my hair into like little space buns everywhere. Oh my God, my hairstylist Ricky is gonna watch us and be like, what the fuck, Tara? <laughs> it's all good. Okay, but yeah, so I was just inspired by like all these cute little Instagram girls with their fucking pink hair, like especially this girl on Instagram. Her name is like Peachy Jazz or something. She has this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink hair. And I feel like it just looks like it's the Manic Panic one. I don't know what she actually uses. I'm gonna try and like really care when I do this because before when I did it, I feel like I just like didn't even really care. Okay, so we're just gonna 
look a little bit crazy like this. Here's what the pink looks like. It's super vibrant. If my hair turns out this vibrant, I don't know how I'm gonna feel, man. I'm gonna like freak out. And I'm gonna wear gloves and like kind of apply it with my hands. Oh, I need to get conditioner. This is the conditioner that I'm using. I did see Carrington, like Durnham or something. I don't remember her last name. She's a YouTuber slash like social media girl. She used to dye her hair with Manic Panic all the time and she had this like conditioner, so I just bought the same one. I'm so nervous. Yeah, basically Kim Kardashian inspired this because I really liked her Tokyo hair. And then when I saw the video of Chris Appleton talking about how he did it with Manic Panic, I was like, oh shit, I need that. Okay, it's pretty light. See, if my hair was like this color, like a, I don't know. I've watched a couple videos and you could just never tell the ratio. Or maybe my hair just doesn't pick up the color as well. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so let the dyeing begin. I'm gonna like use my hands cause fuck it. Ah, I just went straight in balls to the wall. Do you see? Oh my God, pink hair, yay. All right, this is gonna take me a while, so I'm gonna speed up over this. So this is how this strand looks right now. It like matches my gloves, so it's hard to tell. So I just finished my whole head. I did have to go a little bit into my second container, but as you guys can see, it's super pink. Okay, I need to start my timer actually. I'm gonna start my timer for like 40 minutes. You know what I just realized, it's so weird. I've like done it for 40 minutes and then like as you're going up and working your way up to the top, all the hair at the bottom is like still being dyed. So it's like your hair on the bottom is probably gonna be darker than the hair at the top, so we'll see what happens. But I did a pretty good job at not getting any of my roots. I accidentally went like this to the back of my head, so I might have some pink on the brown in the back of my head. But I think I actually did pretty good. So we're just gonna let her bake. Oh my God, it's so fucking pink. You guys just better look good. Okay, I'm gonna be pissed. Let it do its thing for 40 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll hop in the shower. Okay. Gonna make some tea. I'm so excited. It's been in for like about 40 minutes. I've been walking around my house aimlessly eating <laughs> Nutella on bread. But anyways, I'm gonna go wash it out. I'm gonna wash it out twice just with like my regular shampoo and then condition it. You guys, it better look good, okay? Cause I don't know if I have like the strength to do this again, okay? It better look good. I cannot wait. Okay guys, I just did my makeup and my hair is like semi air dry. I'm gonna go blow dry it now, but it's so pink. I mean, it's definitely has like patchy spots like right here on the front. There's like a little bit more blonde, but I kind of like the dimension, but I guess like I'll just go blow dry it and then straighten it so you guys can really see how it looks, but it's definitely not like a faded pink. Like it's for sure pink. So I did a better job than last time. <laughs> yeah, but a look for sure. Don't make fun of my Christmas PJs as well. <laughs> yeah. um, Dude, you always wear them. I know, <laughs> I love them. Oh my God, here it is. So this is the final result of my pink hair. But it's so pink. It actually lightened up a lot when I was styling it, like after it dried. But this is actually pink. Like when I first tried to do my hair pink, it was so much more light than this. So I'm happy this one is like, you can actually tell it's dyed. But yeah, this is how it turned out. So the Manic Panic cotton candy pink hair. And I do kind of feel like it looks a little bit like Kim's. It's a little bit lighter. So I might use like the leftover hair dye that I have and do it again. But I have pink hair now and I'm so happy about it. I'm super stoked. So yeah, maybe I'll do another color after this like when it washes out. But I'm happy to have pink for like a little while. 
Okay, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> and that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my pink hair. I feel like it kind of suits me. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My at is tarzeroneal. And I will see you guys in the next one.